Oh no, look at what is happening to our very own brother's presidency. Peter will be presidency. Um, the issue and matters going on right now is totally un, you know, unbelievable. Peter will be left the People Democratic Party where Atiku has emerged as the presidential uh, flag bearer for that very party. And these are part of the reasons why he left the party because of possibilities of things like this. Well, my wonderful people, it is becoming, you know, a real issue as we speak because uh, we know that uh, Peter will be left so he can get, you know, all he possibly can. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, Peter will be so ambition, so far setback as first crisis hit Labour Party. Plans by the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, to contest the 2023 presidential election on the platform of the Labour Party appears to be shaky yesterday as a faction of the party threatens to renew its legal battle this week. Former Deputy National Chairman of the LP, Kalitos Okafo, gave the hint in an interview with this day in Abuja. Similarly, yesterday, lawyers to Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC and Trade Union, TUC, Mr. Femi Fanala confirmed the case which the union instigated against the late Abdurrahim Abu Salim, leadership of the party, now under the Julius Agbori faction, was still pending in court. Okafo, who led a faction of LP, wondered why Obi failed to carry out due diligence before his alleged identified with a faction of the party, which the faction national chairman described as the wrong faction. Peter left the People Democratic Party last week and announced his readiness to pursue his presidential aspiration in the Labour, in the Labour Party faction led by Abura. However, Okafo told this day that Peter will be decided to deflect to LP without proper information on the fact that the party leadership has been in subjection of legality and matters ongoing since 2018. Ofak Okafo claimed that he remained, remained the authentic national chairman of the party. He explained that he got the post by virtue of his position as national deputy, deputy national chairman of the party when the late national chairman Abdul Salim was in office. He added that Abura, who is currently leading a faction of the party, was acting national secretary when Abdul Salim died in 2020. Okafor further claimed that Abura announced himself as national chairman without research to the provision of the party constitution following Abdul Salim dynasty. He said the labor constitution stipulated that the deputy national chairman should act or replace the chairman in the event of death or resignation. Okafo explained the decision of Abura to make himself chairman with the active collaboration of some members actually led to the current leadership of the crisis in the LP. I, Kalito Sokafo, appreciated, approached the court to get a pronouncement to force Abora out of the case. Hence, it is still pending. So these are possibilities and things and things going on in the new party. Peter will be just joined. The party has court case and there are issues going on in that party, which, you know, has not... Uh, giving Peter will be the opportunity now that it really needs, you know, it does not need all this drama at this point in time. Peter will be sincerely needs a party that is together, you know, and that things are going well, not a, not a problematic party that has issues, you know, to settle. You know, these are, these are things going on now. These are things happening. And um, unless those cases are settled, which Femi Fallon has also, you know, um, you know, set it out, it's it's possible that you know the party that already has uh, an, an issue may not be the party to stay with you know and to have an election a party that has issue is not that kind of party you want to be associated with 
okay this is exactly what is going on this is exactly what is going on now okay this is you know it just it's just a shame because uh, peter will be just left the people democratic party and there was no chance of him winning it anyway we saw how the northerners you know in the party went ahead and they were you know they were stepping down for one another okay they were stepping down for one another they're stepping down for one another so these are possibilities that you know peter obi may not have had you know the opportunity to win that very matter but this is what is going on now so what will he do what is the next line of action what will he do what's the next game plan you know what what does he what will he do you know this has already happened there are indications and cases with regards to this matter and then we must all now work together to ensure that we you know we, we take out everything and anything that could potentially not move this nation forward you know it is important that everybody begin to work at it everybody do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that you know we have men and women of integrity take over the leadership of this country okay the leadership of this country is so important we cannot just have anybody become the leader of this country we can't have it we can't have just anybody become the leader of this country. Peter B is one of the persons who have the track record that if he brings it in and work at it, there could be, you know, there could be something quite different. If he truly brings it in and, you know, he, you know, it does not change, go ahead. We're not saying he's a saint, by the way, don't get us wrong. But that's a man who, when he served in Anambra State, he did everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that Anambra State, you know, uh, become a state of envy. He left, you know, he, he left that place, you know, uh, mourning in the treasury. Did everything humanly speaking possible. So we need we need such people, and it is this this, this the same corruption, you know, all thing going on that made him to leave one party for the other. Is this still all corruption thing? You know, Peter B cannot just you know uh, stay in that same party where there is no truth. You know, where it looks like you know things are not working. This is why things are the way they are. Okay, this is why things are the way they are. You know, we we need to really begin to you know support men and women that have the potential to help this nation become better. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us is bye for now.